What's going on, guys? Welcome to another M19 draft. I'm your host, Turd Ferguson. You eat a lot. I don't eat that much dried fruit. I don't think I've had dried fruit in like two weeks, guys. Just because it's one of my chosen stream snacks does not mean. Is it this seven drop Wind Reader Sphinx or is it this six drop Hasty Dragon Boy? I like blue a lot better than I like red. Plus. We're kind of cutting blue here, where, like, if we take this, two other people are going into red here. I'm going to take this rare. <laughs> I poop up four times a day. You mean something by that? <laughs> what are you saying about people who poop four times a day? Well, oh, Lich's caress is just perfect, and so is strangling spores. But I'm gonna, I'm a, I'm a Lich's, I'm a Lich's caress man. I like that more than the spores. The other day, I had the catalog came out. I was going to show a book that had come in. It was a copy of Friday Forty One with an asbestos cover, one of the two hundred that were signed and numbered by. Oh, that was actually awesome! Wow, that sounds awesome, actually. I'm taking this Lich's Caress. Do 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 Also, two wikes, you said, uh, <laughs> there are some pretty funny things you said, actually. One of one is the, uh, record scratch. <laughs> You're probably wondering how I got here. Oh, we're gonna take this meteor giant. I don't know why this is third pick, but it is, I guess. I don't, the problem with, with, with non-cube stipulations is that they're usually pretty terrible. And unlike cube stipulations, you can usually build a great deck in cube with a stipulation, right? Hey, only take these kind of cards, or only take these kind of cards. You can usually still win games because the cards are just inherently powerful. And there's enough strategies in the cube uh, to defend whatever strategy you're trying to play. The difference is, in a set like this, if you're like, only draft, you know, cards with, with women on them, it's super hard to actually win a game like that because... There's just not enough great cards in general. I think it's Surge Mare. I'm a big Surge Mare fan. You guys, you guys always know about that. I don't think we have a reason to abandon the the black yet, but now we kind of do because there's nothing in here. We could take the Wall of Mist and just be big floats dot deck. We have enjoyed the blue red deck. I also like a Bardian. Uh, it's either this guy or this guy, I think. I don't think we're taking this Wall of Mist or this Fraying Omnipotence. I'm trying to think of what's better with this strategy. Probably the Brute. Oh! Oh, let's do this. You know what? We're going to lose this draft, and we're going to go broke on Magic Online, which is sad, because it's been a long time since I've had to pay for, for, for events. But this is a fun card that I can build around, and, uh... Well, I mean, hopefully we'll get a second one. If not, it's just a wasted pick. So we're going to put it here for now. And play as if it's not... Oh, Snapping Drake and an Aviation Pioneer. I think the Aviation Pioneer is better. Which is weird to say, but... Oh, Rogue's Gloves is pretty good. I'm going to take the Rogue's Gloves. Hey, both Rogue's Gloves came back. I actually like Rogue's Gloves probably more than other people, I guess, because they're both here still. I'm not going to take both, though. I'll probably just take this Frilled Serpent. Yeah, I don't care about any of these cards. I'll just take this idiot. Wow. I think we're the only blue drafter here. Do, 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 do. 
I will also play any uh, any millstones we get now that we have this psychic corrosion. Sky March Blood Letters, pretty good. Could take the Volley Veteran if we're red. Dismissive Pyromancer, also pretty good if we're red. Probably better than Volley Veteran, I would imagine. Having a loot ability is real strong, and then just having a removal spell on that loot ability is also pretty good. I think Lich's Crest is stronger than the Brute, though. So I think we're just going to take the Sky March Blood Letter here. Phylactery Lich. I still don't think that's the pick, interestingly enough. We have two artifacts. Like, I just don't want to have enough artifacts. We also have Aviation Pioneer, but like, oh, cool. If you kill my 1 1, I just lose my 5 5. It's just terrible. Fountain draws a card for Corrosion, but I'm probably not going to play that just because of a Psychic Corrosion. That seems pretty rough. I'm going to take the Vampire Sovereign of the Blood Divination. I think that's significantly better. Wow. Well, that's exactly what we want to see. Thank you. That Fury Panda, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Apex of power. More like Apex of shit. <laughs> it's probably just even Wind Mage here. Good joke. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I put a lot of a lot of effort into that one. It's probably even Wind Mage here, especially because we have the Wind Raider Sphinx. I like the two drop because we don't have many two drops here. Uh, yeah, I don't foresee us taking the, the ten, 10 mana red card. Yeah, I'll just take Mind Rot. Anticipate. Uh, it's probably Omen Speaker. We wish on two drops and. She holds the ground pretty well. Ideally that... Oh, mirror image. Interesting. Also an essence scatter. I want to take the mirror image. Alright, nothing great here. Black is drying up pretty good here. Um, I don't think we want a Salvager. Fountain is not actually terrible. The life every turn is pretty reasonable. And it just replaces itself at some point. How would you get to play both of your 7 drops off of Apex? You only get 10 mana. Whatever, this guy's not great, but... Yep. What up, Rectorb? Long time no see, buddy. Actually, Neonate's probably not terrible here.
Death Baron. I probably think it's just strangling spores over the Death Baron. I don't actually care about Death Baron here at all. I have like one zombie. Two zombies, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to take the strangling spores. Metamorphic Alteration. And she's a creature, a copy of the chosen creature. Okay, so put it on a dude, make it another dude. That's probably still the pick here. It's not great, but... I mean, Vine Mare is fine. You still block it. It still gets blocked by everything. Another mirror image, eh? Okay, well. Probably just taking Child of Night here. I just want to have creatures that I can put other things on. Uh, we don't really need a Dwindle. We have plenty of removal right now. We have Meteor Golem, Dwindle, Lich's Caress, Strangling Spores. Pretty sure we're pretty reasonable on removal. And we also have a Salvager of Secrets to get back the removal. Skeletal Archer I will take, though. That guy is pretty excellent. We also have another Surge Mare, which I'm not opposed. And a Divination is nice, but it's kind of nice to have an Archer. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, this is our deck, unless we find some other things. Oh, Essence Scatter seems... Oh, we got a Millstone, though. I don't think we're there. Yeah, this is an easy Diagraph Ghoul cut here. Another child of night. Dwindle could be good though. Take out the neonate. Probably add another dwindle. Gearsmith could be good. I like having a gearsmith. Whether we play it or not is eh, I'll take Epic Hero Blood. I really wish this lose three gain three card wasn't in the set. It's just such a filler card. Like, it also teaches new players the, the 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 entirely wrong thing to focus on. Hey, gain three life, and your opponent loses three life. You'll basically never lose. It's upgraded healing solve. No, it's pretty bad. I'll take Macaw Bolts. I don't think we need it. We have a good amount of card drawing, right? We have Salvager of Secrets. We have Symbiont. Actually, Frilled Sea Serpent could come out. We have Wind Reader Sphinx. Wow, this is a lot of... I don't think bad cards do teach new players that. I think new players uh, who think they're good are unable to actually see why they're bad until someone points it out to them. Otherwise, they will play you with their deck full of uh, deal three, gain threes, and they won't actually change their deck when they lose, and they don't see those cards aren't doing anything. That's actually a lesson that people have to teach them. And it's just as easy to teach them without having the cards in that context. That's just my opinion. We have the playset of Neonates, which is kind of sweet. All right, well, there you go. 
All right. Yes, 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 yes. That's all fine. The only card I'm not sold in this for a sea serpent. Uh, the reason, I mean, like, there's a couple reasons why Vintage Cube isn't always available. One is that uh, you don't want to oversaturate things. Like, you don't want to only have... Uh, because then people will just be bored of it at a certain point. Like, you want it to be special. You want to maintain some of the specialness. And another reason is that, like, you don't want it to really compete with your new formats. Like, you don't want Vintage Cube to be up while M19 is up. Because I feel like you're not going to have many people drafting M19 if that's the case. So, it's just, I mean, it makes sense. Like, I don't like it, but it makes sense. It's one of those necessary evils. I really don't care about this guy. I think this guy's probably just worse than 5-5 five, five Gearsmith or Macabre Waltz. Macabre Waltz seems pretty good with all these guys. Yeah, we're just going to play Macabre Waltz. No, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. This deck looks good. I mean, to be fair, we thought the last deck looked great, too. And then we got thudded, abnormal, whatever, out of the game, just like we were planning on doing to our opponent. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand despite not having any blue in it because we're basically mono black here. <laughs> I was actually going to say if we draw a rogue's gloves here, we're actually in pretty good shape, and that's actually kind of funny. Not to say we're going to get any damage through, but it's nice to have. Sure. So our guy is just strictly better than theirs, which is the problem. And of course, you missed a land drop, like you do. I'm actually not going to trade here. We're just going to play champ child of night number two. Like, if there's land, land on top, we could have actually played gloves next turn, equip the gloves. And then the turn after that, use Skeletal Archer to kill their blocker, but, I mean, that's pretty ambitious. We do get to Skeletal Archer this Cavalry Drillmaster, though, which is nice. I am presuming we draw a fourth land. Which has not been our strong suit today, I'll be honest. Well, we did it. All right. Well, feeling okay about this hand. We can strangling spores. If we hit another land, we can salvage the spores back. Yep, that's a good card. Pretty sure we're blocking with Archer and, and Child on this Shield Mare because they only get to kill one, so... Fine trade. Well, we hit a land, but not the right land. And I will gladly attack for four here and gain four if you want to block. Okay, seems good. Oh, I see. Oh, we get to draw a card, though. That's pretty nice. Unless they have Nightmare's Thirst in hand. Oh, 
Oh, come on. <sighs> Wouldn't be so bad if they didn't have exactly abnormal strength thud last game. <laughs> like, now it's just getting to a point where they always have the exact uncommon they need at every single moment, and it's just kind of, just kind of over it. Either way, hitting a land here could be good. We could just kill this two-headed idiot. Wow, they didn't even gain a life first. Nope, no land. Well, I guess we still have a chance. Come on, island. I'll take it. I think we're still f very, very fine here. <laughs> like, not even unquestionably fine. It was just a frustrating moment where they had the exact answer they needed and we were under a lot of pressure. So, either way, we're good. We're covered. Yeah, our hand is pretty much stacked at this moment. Island. Oh, I see. Yeah. I think this game is over. You got greedy, Martin. Stop! He's already dead. <laughs> yeah, gloves has been pretty good for me. I've been impressed. It's a good way to, to, to pull ahead in, in this format where uh, you kind of, everything kind of relies on having enough cards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we could sleep you, which is pretty safe and it also allows us to get through. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Making sure I, I I I aren't staying hydrated. Well, that's a strange decision. There are three, so they really got to play a number of dudes here to survive. Totally normal guy. Thanks for saying so. Appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. Uh, yep, gonna mulligan this hand. Yeah, gonna keep this one. Yeah, I'll keep you on the tippity top. I like a blood letter into a gloves. I see. I see. I, uh, I'm a fan of this meme that keeps living. That will live in infamy. Pretty sure I've never heard a kid say, well, maybe you're not even listening. Are you even listening? Do you even listen, Avid Fiction on? It's clear your name is an avid listener because you don't even listen to the kids. Which league is this? What do you? What's your? What's your question? Uh, I don't, the 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 M M nineteen league. I don't understand the question. This guy. Won't somebody listen to the children? Yep, I will take four. Oh, Swiss. I'm I I have I'm not an idiot. I don't do no single limb. I work for a living. <laughs> well, that guy's probably worth just killing. But actually we can play a guy. Nah, we'll equip. And Surge Mare. I would like this better if it was a uh Hmm. Well, I think preventing two here is more important than... I mean, they're going to just play Angel and we're going to feel bad. But otherwise, we would take four, five, six, seven, eight, which is also feeling bad. So... What am I, a millionaire? Grand nieces and grand nephews? Nobody has those things. 
I want something to just sleep this and then get a free turn, get a free bull, free bulls. Because I got a lot of things on board right now that I'm afraid of. Well, that's sad. What we can do is go Omen Speaker Child of Night, which is actually pretty good blockers. But this guy's really problematic, surprisingly. I would have liked to land here. So the next turn, like we can go sleep this turn, play land. Next turn we can go Spores and a guy if we hit another land. So we can go block here. I think we just have to play both of these. I don't think we can hold up Scatter. I think if they had the Angel, they would have played it last turn. Like, last turn was good enough for an angel. So. I mean, they might have inspired charge, which is just, just kind of wrecks us, but. Yep, they do. Never fails. Never don't have it. It's okay, they're at 25. They're basically dead. Yep. Yeah, we're just going to concede here. We're basically dead to Child of Night. Alright, that was a good game. I had a good time. Both sides played hard. I'm going to bring in this Mind Rot. I'll keep it. Ideally, we draw Swamp Swamp. I'll take it. Single Swamp would also be nice. I will accept a single Swamp as an offering. Yeah, I don't think playing Magic for a living... Uh, as frequently as I do is any sort of consolation prize, trust me. It sounds great until you have to literally play Magic seven days a week. Um, and when you stop playing Magic, you uh, your, your source of income dwindles. So I, I don't think it's any sort of... Uh, it's, it's nowhere near the picnic as it might sound on the outside. Just had my back ice cream freezer basically have to fr have to frost all my ice cream from last night. It's not so lost. Oh, jeez, jeez, man, that 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 freezer life, Matthew Ori. Oh, good, a little cavalry, buddy. 
Yep, taking one. Boy, another another black source would be great here. I also want a chip witch. Those are that's the that's the most that's the best form of ice cream there is. Black mana. Yeah, I'll take it. Swamp off the tippity top. You ready for it, guys? When it's gonna be a Wind Reader Sphinx. It was a surge mare. I think we just pass here. Oh, how fun. Of course, that's the last card in your hand. Why wouldn't it be? Yep. Hooray! One, two. Like, we really have to draw land here, is really the problem. This is pretty obnoxious. Yeah, we'll go to four, I guess. And if we draw a Swamp, we can Lich's Caress and Surge Mare, which is nice. If we draw any land, we can Macabre Waltz. All right, that was actually pretty good. Kill you. All right, that's a good recovery, because now we can get back Archer and Pioneer with Macabre Waltz. All right, well, now we're just blocking here. And now I'm just getting this guy back, 100%, with Skeletal. Oh my god, are you serious right now? One, two, three, four, five. If we discard the... I think we're just discarding Dwindle here. Skeletal Archer is better for the body here. Feels good. I guess we could have also dwindled the Valken. Oh, for f come on, dude. It's real life. Good times. Good times every day. We basically die if we don't block. What can we do? I don't know. Well, this is unfortunate. 3-3 three, three is nice. Maybe we just kill a Johnny. Yeah, we just have to kill a Johnny. Yep, 
Yep, and pass it up. Wow, so aggressive. Wow. Block you, block you. I'm just going to kill everything you have because we're at four life. Sure. Making my way down here, walking. Oh, that's good. All right. I think that's good. I actually can't tell if that's good or not. <laughs> I guess it could be good. I mean, we're double blocking this guy for sure, so. I'll trade. Let's trade. Horse battle. This is where they have a trick. I have one card in hand, but it will take out you. Oh, that was good. I'm a fan. Oh god, stop playing things. Okay. You got it. Nice 4-4 flyer. Uh, I would definitely not make this a 3-3. I would much sooner make it a 4-1. Because then we can trade with everything. I think. I mean, if they have a way to get rid of Skeletal Archer and we give them a 5-3, we're not getting any value off of it. I have no idea why we'd make it a 3-3 a instead of a 2-1. Because you don't want them to gain a few life. Like, that seems kind of silly. I mean, now every one of our creatures can take this down. Which is significantly better than only having one creature that can take this down. Mighty Leap, kill you. Fascinating. I like the premise of having more life gain, but I don't like the fact that it's a very weak creature. Yep. This is getting kind of obnoxious. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, magic. What a scumbag.
That's pretty good. So if they had a removal spell, we would be dead. So I'm going to attack here. And now we get to keep up a counter spell, which is nice. Also, double, double blocking here is pretty OP. All right, they played a land, which is good. Oh, God, really? Well, we're double blocking. Losing the Sphinx, undoubtedly. What up, Moonlight? Yep. Plus two, plus O. Oh. Sure. I guess that's still fine. I don't even know, dude. Actually, it's still fine. We get to counter the next creature. We're actually okay, I guess. Yeah, we're in good shape here. We can mind rot this turn, depending on what happens. Oh, we get to hit both cards because you don't want to play any more lands. That's pretty cool. Well, they're probably going to kill something. Oh, yes, that's good. <laughs> neg one, neg one, deal. How many Nightmare Thirsts do you have? Two, I guess. Uh, did we play a land this turn? No, so we're actually going to use both of these. I can't imagine we're losing this game at this point. This is us not playing around Mind Rot of their own. So if they top deck Mind Rot... Eh. They don't have anything else. Might as well and scatter it. That should be the end. Uh, I'm gonna get Macabalts back. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Macabalts back. I don't think it matters. Uh, I'll get back Symbiont and probably Wind Reader Sphinx. Discard Nomen Speaker. <laughs> Doesn't matter. None of this matters. And that's the end. All right, good games. Didn't think we were winning that game because we were very far behind at very, very frequent points, but here we are. Maybe our deck is very good. I will play first. Well, the Double Thirst, they also have Child of Knights and Shield Mares, so there's points where Thirst is negative 4, negative 4, or negative 3, negative 3, which is significantly good. Uh, Matthew, I actually have like two decks in front of you, buddy. So like, there's, um, you are you are at the unfortunately at the back of the queue, but only because of of when they were presented to me. If we can hit some lands here. I'm going to actually, I'll update my calendar today with when I plan on doing which decks, and you guys can check those out. That was a good draw. What's the, what's the play here? We're going to play Pioneer Blocks Everything. I'm just going to play Pioneer, because I don't want them to get attacking value off this Child of Night.
Uh, I'll block. Oh, well, that's cool. Plague Mare is a good card. I'm having a good time now. Thanks, thanks for the Plague Mare. Yep, that was a mis that was a misplay. I thought they just killed one of our creatures, and uh, unfortunately, that is not the case. They played one of the best creatures against our one one and our two one. We'll attack with both. Yeah, I bet you will. I bet you will. All Titanic growth, my plague mare. No, okay. Well, sure. Land. Not a land. Well, fingers crossed they don't play... I guess we have Dwindle if they play a big dude. This is annoying. You can see where mirror Im image does not shine here. That is not what I wanted to essence scatter, but we're not really in a position to be picky, unfortunately. Money for nothing and your bits for free. Oh, that's a good, that's a good Dire Straits reference there. I'm a fan. Mm, sure, and then we still take a point from the poison tip archer. Just a tip, just a poison tip. We're gonna do it now because if they have a pump spell, I'd rather not get them titanic growthed and still take the damage next turn. I guess it'd be the same, right? Sure. Oh boy. Custom and delivery. We've got to move these refrigerators. Yep, we're done. I don't even, just don't care. Got to move these color TVs. Actually taking a child of night out for a wall of mist. This is what this is where we are right now in our lives. Taking this mirror image out for this Gearsmith Guardian as well. Those will be those will be our changes. Hmm. I'll keep this hand. I would sub if this is a Frank Karaoke channel. That's pretty good. I accept that. Got to move these refrigerators. You got to move these color TVs. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money for nothing. And the bits for free. I want my... Can I get an island up in here? Wow, it really worked too. <laughs> All I gotta do is quote some dire straits in this tip and then he's gonna start singing, it's amazing. Is it better to support you on Patreon or subscribe here for, um... Pro I don't know, probably Patreon? I think I, I think I get more I'll, I'll get more of a cut from Patreon, but like, obviously my sub count on here is uh, more relevant because the higher the more subs I have the better percentage I get. But that doesn't kick in until I hit like five hundred. So, um, I don't know. You also get Patreon content if you if you uh, if you uh, 
if you pledge on Patreon. Remember that time we got to play magic? I didn't hit any of my land drops. Oh, this guy's gonna just. This guy's just gonna run away with the game. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money for nothing and the spores for free. Nobby. I want my mana, yeah! Yeah! I'm just gonna play Omen Speaker here and try to hit lands next turn. Money for nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep both of these. Wow. <laughs> Jesus crying out loud. Oh, look, I have five power. Cool, you get to wipe my board with your... I'm choosing. There you go. You did it. Congratulations. Declare dominance is still... If only we drew land last turn, we could have strangling spores this and not been blown out utterly. Unfortunately, magic's resource system is something that leaves to be something some, something that is... is you, know, you know what? I'm going to stop talking now because... What's the point? Hooray, I'm having a good time playing Magic the Gathering on the internet. Oh. I guess we'll kill that guy this turn and just do a thing. I'm gonna bog stomp this dude's beeholes. What's happening around? I, I want my Michael B. Oh, look, it's just mono big creatures. That's cool. I'm having a good time. Got to move these refrigerators. It's turn eight and I missed three land drops. <sighs> cool. A fun format full of fun uncommons and rares that everyone has a good time with. M19, the format you can win if you hit your land drops. If not, too bad. Get wrecked. Maybe you should have played better and hit your land drops, idiot. Oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. My bad. Ah, <sighs> boy. Oh, good. They're in a, they're double queuing. Congrats. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun. I will keep. Oh yeah, I'm super salty. Like that's that's just ridiculous. Like if we can hit our land drops, we get to strangling soot that turn instead of having to not and then getting our whole board wiped instead. Like. Just gonna counter the first thing I see because I don't wanna take a million damage while not having a way to deal with that guy. One get wrecked big fan buck. My favorite. That's cool. Two little idiots. Two little idiots. Well, next turn we can play Vampire Sovereign. That's a cool card. They'll probably just electrify it, though. So it won't be... 
I opened one, I have opened one bolus in a an entire case and uh, none in any drafts that we've done. So that is our that is our bolus check. I also had someone else at the store I go to. He uh, said he opened no bolus in his in his case, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. Oh, no attack, no electrify. Okay. Intriguing. Custom kitchen deliveries. We got to move these refrigerators. Yeah, put that dude in the graveyard. Got to move the color TVs. Open bowls were released in Tesseract last draft. Kind of almost feels bad. Both cards are oppressive. Yeah, oh, I agree. They are both very, very strong and limited. No rabbit bite? No rabbit bite. I like it. No rabbit bite. Plummet? Just gonna plummet during my turn. Thank you. Bob's Clark, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Do I get to draw a card? I opened custom discount delivery. It was pretty good. That seems good. Yeah, I had a feeling you were going to be a land. Sometimes you can just be like, well, there's going to be a bunch of lands coming. Thank you. Drelax, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'll shock this child of night. Yeah, sure you will. I, I'm a real shock. I have a shocking personality. Okay. I'm going to dwindle that dude so hard that he's going to become less bristly. Metamorphic alteration. I wish I had more creatures. That'd be great. I like having creatures. We could also turn that dude into a 1-1, one, one, I guess, but... Ay -ay -ay. So we take 4 if we dwindle? I guess that's fine. Oh, God. Stretch City. All right. Ooh. Watch him draw the Electrify this turn. Oh, thank goodness. I got my Electrify. Come on. Oh, okay. We just win. That seems good. Oh, oh, well. All right, well. This is round three already? Wow. Wow. Love when I get to work on Kenji Lyle. Also, I have streamers I watch. You're by far the most entertaining. So you certainly just your YouTube videos. That's great. That's fantastic. Thanks so much for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate that.
Oh, this hand is where you want to be. The six drop, seven drop hand. But you got that omen speaker to smooth it out. I'm in. I'm game. Got that three, four, six, seven curve. Quality content. Look at these little guys. Hey, we're some goblins. That's my goblin voice. Let me know in the comments if you like it. I'm going to put the Salvager on the bottom and put you on top. We don't really have anything to get back with Salvager. I guess we can get back sleep, but we can just shuffle our deck at some point, right? It's limited. We can do that. Alternatively, we can just draw all the cards in our deck because of Psychic Symbiont and Wind Reader Sphinx. And uh, that would also help us. Oh, they're not going to do anything here. That's nice. Got to move. All I want to do is survive. If I can survive, I feel like we're in good shape, but that is the trick, isn't it? Oh, I see. You know what? I will block. We'll see what happens. If you want to pump this guy, I'm game. If you want to shock my omen speaker, that's that's good too. Yep. All right. So nothing happened. Sounds good. I understand. I wonder if I just sleep you here. Get him for three. You don't do anything. Get him for another three. No, we can save. I'm actually going to save this. I don't think it's that great here. I think next turn we can sleep. Don't do it. Don't do something crazy. All right, that's fine. That's not crazy at all. Got to move these refrigerators. We've got to move these color TVs. Alright, that's what we want. Because we want to be able to sleep. And then slam right into Psychic Symbiont. That should let us hit the 7th land. And then we can play Sphinx after that. I think we've just I think we're good. Oh god. Are they doing two things? Really? You'd sack of this two two to play this two two? That seems weird to me. Does that seem weird to anyone else? Are they watching and they just know we're going to play this? Because that would be weird. Hmm. Hmm. I guess they... Yeah, but they could have held the mountain. They could have held the land and then just discarded that and still kept the creature in hand. That doesn't even make any sense. And they're still going to play this. They have no cards in hand. That's weird. Why would you trade 2-2 two -two for 2-2? Two -two? I don't think they are, because it doesn't make any sense. We could have played Simpia, it just doesn't match up very well against this guy, this guy, or this guy. So that's why we just skipped that. Whereas if we draw if we draw a land, we can play Sphinx and still attack with Thopter. Dwindles Devils is the name of my swing band. That's gas. Oh, that's a good that's a good draw, but you don't actually have the extra mana, so it's actually just fine. I wish this Wind Raider Sphinx had Vigilance, but uh, we understand that that's not how magic works. This is a pretty easy block. I can trade an Omen Speaker for a Boggart Brute. That's a good deal. 
Oh boy, big bigs. Unfortunately, no attacks this turn because three because they top decked a. Well, I guess they had giant spider anyway. So. Hmm. I'm just gonna block here instead of taking two for a million years. That guy's not doing us any favors. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Symbiont. Okay, now we're talking. Now, we're going to keep this island in hand because uh, if we draw... Next time we get to Lich's Crest, this guy, and attack for... Or we could actually Lich's Crest, this guy, and then trade. But I think I'd rather just keep the spider on board and... Be able to draw two cards here. That seems pretty strong. If, if you ask me, I don't think you're going to, but... Perfect, perfect. Seems fine. Play a land, and we'll pass. Uh, I don't know what the best color unlimited is. I have I have not decided yet. I've only done... I mean, I've done a good number of drafts, but I, I, I don't know. Every, every draft I've done is different, so it's really hard to determine what the best color is. This is also great because the archer kills the spider, so... And we get to draw two more cards. Yeah, this is pretty good. Oh, I see. <laughs> well. Good deck is good, I guess. Well, unless you're playing against the super aggressive greeny deck. And we'll mare. Play an island. I think we're I think we won. I think we're good here. Undrum Tuna, take it easy, buddy. And all right, back back on top of the the two packs of six. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you guys haven't done so. Check me out on Patreon, and you can find my Twitch link below in the description if you guys want to check me out on Twitch instead of on YouTube. And uh, thanks for the support. I'll see you next time.